our pets, but especially our dogs, are of concern to postal workers here in the Valley. Just last year, there were 32 dog attacks on postal workers here in Phoenix just going through their routes. My relationship with my customers are great. Joe Willers has been working the same route for the past seven years, but he's been a mail carrier for 28. I believe that most carriers at one time in their career have had an attack by a dog. He's speaking from experience, but he's also talking about the more than 5,300 Postal Service employees attacked by dogs while delivering the mail last year. I have been chased down by dogs. I have been bitten by dogs, not severely, but it happens. You've probably seen the signs outside homes that serve as a warning for an aggressive dog. But Willer says those are not the ones he has had problems with. It's those good dogs, the dogs that have had a bad day. Okay, they're the ones that come after us. It often happens in rural areas or homes with fenced off front yards, but it's often enough that mail carriers get training on what to do. Notate that to management. Management sends them a letter. Say, hey, your dog's been out. Please keep it put away. And in the worst of cases, he admits he's had to use pepper spray, something he says other mail carriers do as well. I have sprayed dogs, okay? You don't want to, but if that's, if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. But Willers and USPS say what helps the most is when pet owners secure their dogs before their mail carrier approaches, keeping dogs either inside, behind a fence, on a leash, or away from the door is the best way to prevent a bite. I have been very lucky. Uh, my bites have been, I've been, you know, they're just small punctures. Uh, on those two occasions where they've been small punctures, you yeah. just clean it out, you report the dog to the uh, pound. If you do have a dog, the U.S. Post Office wants you to have all the tools you need to keep both your dog and your mail carrier safe. We have all that information on our AZ Family app and website. Reporting in Phoenix, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family.